Hey digital fan, my name is John D. Saunders. In today's digital block, I'm gonna talk about my favorite marketing tool for planning out your strategy and implementing your work. Let's do this. Hey guys, I hope all is well. This video is going to be a quick one because I want to provide you with massive value. So today I want to talk about a little tool, a free tool I like to use called Funnelytics. Again, I do not get paid by this endorsement. These are just tools that we use within the business to scale. And what Funnelytics does is it lets you itemize and visualize your marketing funnel. Using this free tool, you can map out a funnel, create this, leverage this for your internal projects as well as for clients, and it is a great tool to add value to what you already do. So what I wanna do is take a couple minutes to dive in and show you in real time the process of how to create one, and I'm also going to give you access to all of my templates, so stay tuned. Why do you need a marketing funnel tool? The first reason is it helps you organize your marketing tactics. So if you're working on, let's say, retargeting, you have SEO, you have lead magnets, you have all these different things, this just helps you streamline the process and give you a visual aid of your strategy. With this tool, this free tool, by the way, it'll help you organize it really simply and give you a visual that you can share with your clients to help them be more receptive to your marketing strategy. Also, this can be shared with your clients in the form of video or in the form of a link where you can provide them additional value on top of the funnel on how it works and how it's going to move forward with the campaign. And then lastly, you can use Funnelytics and Loom for a powerhouse combination. Now, what I mean by that is Funnelytics, the tool I'm about to get into in a few, is uh, made easier with Loom. Loom is a quick video sharing Google Chrome extension, which lets you share your screen in video format within seconds with one click of a button. So let's say you have your funnel set up and you're doing a screen share. You can actually create a video using Loom going over your funnel strategy to really, really add more value to your client's experience and make it simple for them to understand your funnel. So. Now let's hop into Funnelytics. The first thing is it's absolutely free. They have a paid option, but everything that I'm going to talk about, you can pretty much get done for free. Uh, they allow funnel mapping and customization, which I'm gonna dive into right now. It's also a drag and drop interface, so it's really, really easy to use. And lastly, it's simple to share funnels. I'm actually going to share my funnels with you guys, two examples of funnels that we've used to, for clients as well as our internal projects. So let me give you an example of a funnel. This is one we have for our online course on marketing automation. So we really start with a value ad. As you can see, this is the Facebook ad here. We just wanna provide value to the user. It takes them to a landing page where they can download that free lead capture, and then they're added into an email funnel. Now the next step is once they're in that email funnel, now we tell them, hey, not only do you get this free value, we're also having a webinar that's coming up shortly. So now we try to get them to sign up for that webinar. And then lastly, when they attend the webinar, they get offered the online course, and of course, the purchase, the ching ching, where all the money happens. So this is a visualization that I've created but it's so much easier with Funnelytics to share this with the consumer because your client might not understand the full funnel. So let's go ahead and dive in there. Let me show you guys that. So this is Funnelytics. It's funnelytics.io is the webpage. You can go in here and you can sign up for uh, the account. Again, I'm not paid by these guys. I just use this tool. It's amazing, it's free, and um, I, can't, I can't say enough great things about it. Um, let me actually come out of full screen so I can show you guys this a little bit better. And so here is an example of one of our funnels. So this is for a webinar signup. As you can see, it starts out with a Facebook ad, then uh, the landing page, then they sign up for the webinar, and then we have an email sequence here that goes through. If they miss the webinar, we have email follow-up and a Facebook ad to view the replay. Now they watch the webinar. And that brings them back here. And then hopefully they purchase. Now, if they don't purchase, we have another email sequence that'll go out to them to ultimately purchase the course. So this looks a lot more complicated than it is. Than it is. And again, this gives you a visualization to the client that makes it easier for them to absorb this. So another example is a lead magnet funnel. Lead magnet being some type of free value add, PDF, 
a checklist that you're providing your users so you can acquire their email address. And a landing page with content download is here. If they don't download the PDF, they get Facebook evergreen video content. If they watch up to 75% of that, then we reload the landing page with content download. They download the PDF, email sequence, webinar sign up, landing page webinar, and then purchase the course. So these are two uh, very simple funnel examples. I wanted to start out at the top level so I wasn't, wouldn't complicate the process. And it's so easy to create these that anyone can do it. Now, if I'm gonna go into Funnelytics just so I can show you what it looks like, let's start with like a blank slate. So I'm gonna go home, okay? Then I'm going to hit create project. Then I'm gonna do test. And I'm gonna create a funnel in there. So I'm gonna go to test and I'm gonna create this funnel. My funnel's name is gonna be simple funnel, okay? Now, it's really easy to create these funnels. You just go here. Let's say I'm gonna do one for a Facebook ad that will lead to a, uh, a lead magnet download. So I'm gonna hit pages. Actually, sorry, I'm gonna hit traffic and then I'm gonna choose Facebook. Then I'm just gonna type in Facebook ad lead magnet. Oops. Okay, so that's the download the lead magnet. Now. I'm going to do a page and it's going to be an opt-in, right? Because we want to get their email address. And then I just drop that here. Now what I can do is I can click this and hold it and drag it here. And now I have that connection really easily. So now once they opt in, now we're going to go to actions, right? Action is to complete the form. So we're going to go here. We're going to connect that as well. And then in the complete form, we're going to do downloaded opt-in all right i'm just doing this quick so you guys can see okay so now that they've downloaded the opt-in now i'm going to hit them with another facebook lead right instead of the lead magnet i'm going to do facebook retargeting webinar sign up right so now i have the webinar sign up here and I can do, and I can connect this to this, and then I can have more pages here and so forth. So they have a ton of different options here, different landing pages, things for traffic, right? If you're running email, if you're running website traffic, uh, messenger, this makes it really, really easy to map out your stuff. So going back to the presentation, it's really easy to use Funnelytics. I, I, Guarantee you it'll simplify your process and make it easier for clients. You can also use Loom, and I'll show you that really quick. I know I've talked about this in prior videos. Uh, the tool is pretty awesome. Uh, it lets you do screen and video recording software. This is also absolutely free. Uh, I, would I would suggest signing up for this, showing your funnel, and then doing a video recording for your client and I'm telling you this adds massive value when you're going over the strategy and helping them get it done. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I do this every month, provide value. Comment if you like the video, comment if you have questions, and I'll see you next time. Peace.